Hey guys, so I updated the graphics of the jumping car video and I just wanted to make this video as a quick update to show you guys what it looks like now. Okay, so all the cars are training right now and they're trying to learn how to jump over these hurdles. The way that they learn is through genetic evolution of neural networks. All the cars start off with completely random networks at the beginning and they get a score based on how far they go on the track. The top 10 cars that make it the furthest have their brains copied over to all the other cars in the next round. After that copy happens, we add some more randomness to the network Otherwise, all the children would just behave exactly the same way as the parents without the randomness. But with the randomness added, the children have a chance of improving their networks, and some of these children might perform better than their parents did in the previous round and become the new top 10 that get copied over in between each round. You can see all the updates that I made to the visuals. I show the current focus car in green, and I also show all the raycasts for that car. And I also added the controls for the car in focus onto the screen so we get a better idea of what is going on at any given moment. They've been stuck on the same turn for the last 10 rounds, but on round 27, they finally got this run. About 1% of you guys are going to get that reference, but it'll be worth it. Now that the cars have finished their first full lap, the goal is to just get faster and more efficient at the track. By round 100, they've managed to get times of about 70 seconds, which is 10 seconds faster than the first car that completed a full lap. If you've seen the previous Jumping AI video on my channel, you'll notice that this time is actually two to three seconds faster than the final results of that video. And that's because I added a new feature called Explore. Previously, when the brains were copied from the top 10 cars to the next round, the exact copy of those top 10 were also brought along to the next round. But now what happens is all the top 10 cars also get randomness applied, so it's like none of the top cars are saved. And this may seem like it would hurt the training rather than help it because you're losing your best performers. But it turns out that this helps them prevent finding local minimums. Sure, you might lose out on the best car every once in a while, but that actually gives the cars with different strategies a chance to show that that strategy might be better than the current best, where those strategies might not have had that chance if the current first place car was always in first place dominating the competition. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out with the algorithm. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.